<laughs> it's pretty close. <laughs> I thought we should spe we should read our special book that we got given by Jim that we opened on Monday because it's got you. It's all about I like you. Okay, so I thought it'd be really nice to read it together. So it's called I Like You by Sandal Stoddard Warburg, illustrated by Jacqueline Twast, and it is published by HMH. So thank you to them for letting us read it when we can't normally. I Like You by Sandal Stoddard Warburg, illustrated by Jacqueline Twast, Hofton Mifflin Harcourt in Boston. So it's an American book, that's why I've never ever heard it or seen it before. Look at this. <laughs> to Jean and Frank and Marion and Paul and Matthew and Joy and Austin and people like that. <laughs> There we go. Lots of lovely pictures in this one, although they're quite small. I like you, and I know why. I like you because you are a good person to like. I like you because when I tell you something special, you know it's special and you remember it a long, long time. You say remember when you told me something special and both of us remember. I think there's a lovely elephant. Oh, that's because elephants never forget, isn't it? <laughs> and she's saying, you say remember when you told me that something special and both of us remember. When I think something is important, you think it's important too. We have good ideas. Look, they've made a reading den. So cool. When I say something funny, you laugh. I think I'm funny and you think I'm funny too. Ha ha ha. I like you because you know where I'm ticklish and you don't tickle me there except just a little tiny bit sometimes. Stop, 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 help, help. Oh, I hate that feeling when you're tickled so much and you can't breathe because it's too much. But if you do, then I know where to tickle you too. <laughs> and look, now she's saying help. <laughs> You know how to be silly. That's why I like you. Boy, are you ever silly. I never met anybody sillier than me till I met you. <laughs> I like you because you know when it's time to stop being silly. Maybe day after tomorrow, maybe never. Oops, too late. It's a quarter past silly. <laughs> is very silly, isn't it? We fool around the same way all the time. Sometimes we don't say a word. We snorkel under fences. We spy secret places. 
if I am a goopus on the roofus hollering my head off, you are one too. If I pretend I'm drowning, you pretend you are saving me. If I am getting ready to pop a paper bag, then you are getting ready to jump. Bang! Hooray! <laughs> That's because you really like me. You really like me, don't you? And I really like you back. And you like me back. And I like you back. And that's the way we keep on going every day. Oh, that's so nice, isn't it? If you go away, then I go away too. Or if I stay home, you send me a postcard. You don't just say we'll see you around sometime. Bye. I like you a lot of because of that. If I go away, I send you a postcard too. Look, they're putting it. That's a, what a, an American letterbox looks like. And so she's collecting her post her postcard from the from her letterbox. And I like you because if we go away together, and if we are in Grand Central Station, and if I get lost, then you are the one that is yelling for me. Hey, where are you? Here I am. <laughs> Grand Central Station is an enormous train station. And I like you because when I'm feeling sad, you don't always cheer me up straight away. Sometimes it is better to be sad. You can't stand the others being so googly and gaggly every single minute. You want to think about things. It takes time. There he is being sad and just having a little think. And his mum's just letting him have a little think for now. Rather than trying to cheer him up straight away. I like you because if I am mad at you, then you are mad at me too. It's awful when the other person isn't. Phooey! They are so nice and hoo-hoo you. You could just about punch them in the nose. <gasps> no, no, definitely not. My goodness me. You do not want that. I like you because if I think I am going to throw up, then you are really sorry. You don't just pretend you are busy looking at the birdies and all that. You say maybe it was something you ate. You say the same thing happened to me one time. And the same thing did. There's very powerful words, me too, aren't they? Very powerful. If someone's hurt or sad or something, you can say, oh, me too. And that can really help someone to find out that they're not alone. If you find two four-leaf clovers, you give me one. If I find four, I give you two. Half each, both times. If we only find three, we keep on looking. Sometimes we have good luck and sometimes we don't. <laughs> I've never found a four-leaf clover, you know. Neither have I, Chocolate Chocolate Button. If I break my arm... And if you break your arm too, then it is fun to have a broken arm. I tell you about mine, you tell me about yours. We are both sorry. We write our names and draw pictures. Oh, look, on the, on the plaster cast. I don't know if they have plaster casts anymore, but they used to put, um, if you broke your arm, they used to put a sort of white bandage around it and people could, um, to, could draw on it. We show everybody and they wish they had a broken arm too. I like you because I don't know why, but everything that happens is nicer with you. I can't remember when I didn't like you. It must have been lonesome then. I like you because, because, because... I forget why I like you, but I do. So many reasons.
on the 4th of July, I like you because it's the 4th of July. On the 5th of July, I like you too. If you and I had some drums and some horns and some horses, if we had some hats and some flags and some fire engines, oh my goodness. We could be a holiday. We could be a celebration. We could be a whole parade. See what I mean? Oh, it's reminding me of that book we read all together called The Carnival, wasn't it? It was called The Carnival. So good. Look, there's a parade here. <laughs> Look at all the people watching them. Even if it was 999th of July, even if it was August, even if it was way down at the bottom of November, even if it was no place particular in January. So we've got some snowballs in the back. I would go on choosing you and you would go on choosing me over and over again. That's how it would happen every time. I don't know why. I guess I don't know why I like you really. Why do I like you? I guess I just like you. I guess I just like you because I like you. <laughs> the end. Wow, maybe you could write a letter to someone who you like and tell them why you like them. So you could write, Dear Mummy, I like you because... and then you could um, write down all the reasons why you like her. Or you could write to a friend of yours because we are all feeling a bit lonely at the moment, aren't we? Because we're not together. But it's lovely to receive a letter or a photograph of a letter or something like that to say how much you like them. OK, so why don't you do that? That would be really, really good. Just like this person has done. They wrote, I mean, they wrote an entire book about why they like someone. So you could just write down a list of things to say, I like you because and then you could get going. That would be a really nice thing to do. OK, right. Oh, my goodness. We had better get going on our phonics lesson now. Oh, my goodness. Look at the time. Gosh. OK. Right, see if you can get your phonics stuff ready by the time I count to zero. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chocolate Chocolate Button Teaches Phonics. You are all doing so brilliantly. Unbelievable. It is so impressive. I can't believe that even with all of this stuff going on, and being stuck at home, you're still getting better and better and better every day at reading and at writing and spelling. My goodness me, I hope you're proud of yourselves because I am very proud of you all. So well done you. Right, let's start off with some bear hugs. So you're going to put your right arm over the top. Whoops. Yep, sorry. Your right arm over the top of your left arm until they're touching your shoulder blades and then you're going to squeeze as hard as you can to give yourself a big hug. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's it. Relax. Wiggle your shoulders a bit. Oh, that's it. And then put your left arm over the top of your right arm and then we're going to do the same thing. Ready? Squeeze. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Oh, shake it all out. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, we're going to do some butterflies now. So, Lucy, can you just show them how? Sure. So you're going to link your thumbs like that, and then you're going to do 
twinkly butterflies. Fingers, that's it. And you're going to make a figure of eight pattern with your hands as if a figure eight was on the floor, was on its side. That's it, as if it's flying around. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a butterfly. That is all I know. That's it. Fantastic. And then we're going to do big hands, little hands. Ready? Big hands, little hands, big hands, little hands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my goodness. And then turn them over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're in the perfect position to play some lovely piano. Oh my goodness me. Right, are we all our fingers all warmed up ready for our handwriting? They are fantastic. Okay, let's get started. Okay, if you hold your pen in your left hand, these three fingers, or two fingers and a thumb, and then switch. These two fingers and a thumb over the inky bit and flip it up. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to do our um, down up. So it ends up looking like a one, but we're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up. That's it. So you're just making a line and you're going back over it. We do this in our handwriting and write when we're writing letters all the time. We have to go back over things in order to make it join. So this is really good practice to try and go back over the line you've just drawn exactly. Okay, the next one we're going to do is our Loch Ness Monster. I wonder what this one's going to be called. My one's going to be called Fred. There you are. Hello, Fred. And the next one is going to be this one. I guess they look a bit like snail shells, this one, don't, don't they? Although they always remind me of um, Arabic art as well. Those sort of beautiful geometric patterns you see on the sides of mosques. And our number for today is the number three. So what we do is we go, actually it's one of the few times where we actually go that way first. So we're going to go that way, bounce back and bounce back. So you don't have to take your pen off. Boing, 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 boing. Okay, there we go. Those are all our threes. Practice for today. Right, let's find out what our spelling pattern is for today. How did you get on with this? All right, you did. Brilliant. Okay, yes. Okay, we are going to do the letter M today. Okay. So let's move on and see if we can do that one. Well, you are not going to believe this, but I just filmed me doing all of this handwriting with my left hand and my right hand and I forgot to press record. Whoops! Silly me. Okay, I'm going to show you properly this time. <laughs> I was just showing you to show that even bears make mistakes sometimes. So there we go, look. Never mind. Right, I'm going to show you how to do it this time. Okay, let's try it again. Second time lucky. So you're going to start off by, by practicing with your pen in the air. Up, down, up, across and down, up, across and down and flick. Ready? Up, down, up, across and down, up, across and down and flick. Okay, that's why we're practicing that bit earlier to keep practicing that going over the over the line you've just done. Okay, so Lucy, we know you're very well practiced at this now, so uh, show us how it's done. Okay, let's go for it. So we've got 
up, down, up, across, down, up, across, down and flick. Up, down, up, across, down, up, across, down and flick. And with your left hand, we're going to go up, down, up, across, down, up, across and flick. Up, down, up, across, down, up, across and flick. OK, and then if I can just ask you to get out of the way, jog, jog, jog the bottom, we're going to go up, down, up, across, down, up, across and flick. I've actually made that one a bit too high. It should be halfway between the two lines. Let me try again. Up, down, up, across, down, up, across and flick. There we go. Now with my right hand. And you can see all of the M's sit on the line. There's nothing that goes underneath the line and there's nothing that goes above the halfway line. It should just all stay on the line halfway across. Now, if we're joining them, it's just a matter of joining them at the flick just like we were doing yesterday. There we go. And then just remembering to move your elbow, not well, your elbow and your wrist along a bit. So you might just pause for a second, move your wrist and then keep going. And as I was saying before, before, when you couldn't hear me because I wasn't filming, um, we do sometimes actually write M's next to each other. So, for example, in the word mummy, there are two M's next to each other in the middle of that. So it's worth practising doing the M's all in a, in a long line like that because it does come up quite often. OK, you saw it this time. Hurrah. There you go. There it is again. Have a go at home and then have a go at doing a few more lines of just M's all together like that. Whoa. Come. She. From. Just. You. One. 
when or hen. Have. So. They. Went. That. Out. We. Said. Children. Do. Help. Like. Some. There. Be. Then. He. What. Me. It's about house people little That's it. Well done, everyone. That was brilliant. Bear brilliant. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Bear brilliant. And I'm a bear. <laughs> Amazing. Right. Okay. Let's get on with our next activity. Z oh. Or, or, your. V, th, or, the. Qu, f, z, o. Oh. Ah. Ear. Shh. N. G. Ing. O. I. P. X. J. S. F. O. E. Ung. G. R. O. V. B. Ch. A. A. Oi. Oi. Uh. 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 I.
I Y E or I E or E as in me E E Ow Ow O O Ooh. Ooh or you. Ooh or uh. Ooh or you. Now, I know it is a bit bonkers, but today we're going to be looking at the sound oo, and I have found five ways of writing the sound oo that we already know, but some of them are very rare indeed for us, and others of them are much more common. So don't worry, it looks a bit ridiculous having all these up there, but actually I think we're going to find out that some of these we just barely ever use, okay? So don't worry too much. But these are the ones we know already, so we've got oo, Oo or you, oo or you, o or oo, and ow or oo. Okay, so let's have a read of a few words and then see if we can start sorting them out. Okay, you might want to write them down at home if you want to. It might be good practice and a good chance to help uh, start setting in some of the ideas behind this sound. It's a funny old sound, this one. Okay, let's get started. Where's the first one, Lucy? The first one is this word here, and it says g r u grew, grew, like I grew up to be a fantastic bear. Grew, okay, grew. The reception children grew and grew and grew until Lucy could barely recognise them, they were so tall. Grew. Okay, so it's past tense for the word grow, and it's going to go in the EW uh, section because it's spelled with an EW. Okay, next one. St. You. Stew. Stew. Spelled with an EW. Stew is like a type of food. It's a bit like usually vegetables um, and perhaps some meat in a. Um, gravy type thing, stew. Okay, so it's, it's yeah, food that's been cooked for a long time, I guess, in a pot. It's called a stew. Okay, stew, grew and stew, each with an EW sound. Now the EW sound is a bit confusing because, and also the UE grapheme, because sometimes it does make a more of a y U sound, but it's difficult to, to describe. But grew is making definitely an OO sound, but in stew, can you hear it? it? Sort of sounds a bit almost like a U sound. But there we are. There's uh, one of those things. Just something to look out for. Right. Oh dear. I should not use yellow. Mental note. R S R S Q Q Rescue. Ooh, rescue. Chocolate chocolate button to the rescue. Rescue. Okay, and that's got a U-E sound, so we're going to put that down there. Oh, I'm really sorry you can't read that. Let's, I'll put it there so you can see it. Okay. Oh dear, there's another yellow one. I'm really sorry. F Ooh. Foo. Well, that doesn't make sense, so it must be U. Few. Few. There were very few things wrong with my spellings today. Few. It means a very little. And we use the word few for when um, you can count it. So um, 
if you can count the number of things that you're that you're saying there are fewer of, then you say fewer. And if you can't count it, then you would say less. So for example, you would say, um, can we have a bit less sand in the sand pit, please? Because you can't count the number of sand grains there are. But uh, you might say, can we have fewer cars in the car park, please? Because it's full up. Fewer. Because you can actually count the number of cars because it, they're definitely countable. Okay, so stuff that you can't count like flour and sugar and sand, you can't count all the grains of that, then you, you, you would say less um, or water as well. You'd say less water, please. And then um, if it's something you can count, then you say fewer. So fewer children, fewer cars, fewer aeroplanes, fewer matchsticks. Okay, that's the kind of the way, the way that works. That's what the word few means. Oh, I'm really sorry, there's another yellow one. Oot. Hoot. Hoot. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoot. That's going to go over in under the oo section. And here we have, oh, good, it's not yellow. B a o bal loon. Balloon. Balloon. Ah, hooray, balloon. Okay. Balloon, the oo sound is spelt with a double O. So we're going to put that one over there. Just going to put that hopefully where you can see it a bit. Okay, let's see what the next one is. K N O Canoe. Oh, it sounds like it should be canoe, actually, doesn't it? It's not that, because that K-N next to each other, that makes an N sound. So we've got N, U, new. Can you hear it's making that sort of almost like a U sound? New in there. But this means I knew it. Okay, that's why it's got a little exclamation mark in a, in a thought bubble. I knew it. It means I understand it. I did know that. Okay, it doesn't mean I've got some new clothes. It means, I knew that one. Oh, why didn't she ask me? Why didn't she pick me for that one? I knew the answer to that one. New. Okay, so that's that one. New. Try and remember that one because um, we'll try and, I'll try and catch you out later. See if you can remember which one's which. The next one is the other type of new. Look, there's a new jumper. And that is n -u, new. Okay, a new jumper. There we go. So we have new new as in i know it and then a new as in something that's not old but new okay right here we go spoon 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 oh that's going to go in the o double o section spoon p -oof. proof Proof. Please, can I have some proof of that? Yes, you can. Proof. That's going to go in the double O section, isn't it? Proof means, can you please verify that it's true? Proof. Do you have any evidence for it? Proof. Oh, another double O. R -um. Room. Room. Okay. So, we're beginning to see, aren't we, that all the double O ones are in the middle of the word. All of those so far are in the middle of the word. And all of the EW graphemes are at the end of a word. And so is this one UW one, UE one. Let's see what about this one. V -a -o -val -u. Value. Value. Oh, okay. So that's going to go in the UE pile just there. Okay. And that's at the end of a word. See what's next one. T -r -u. True. True. It is true. I have the proof. True. Not false, but true. Okay, here's true. Remember how to spell that one with the U E on the end. And that's going to go at the end there. And then we've got G O U. Glue. Oh, let's stick these things together with some glue. Glue, that's going to go in the UE pile. 
This is a funny word. I, d I don't know how often you will come across it, to be honest, but there we are. They asked me to teach it to you, so I am. P you. Pew. Now, a pew is quite a specific seat. It's one of those, I don't know if you've ever seen one, but in some churches, um, you get l seats that are kind of made out of wood and they're long benches, but with a back. And that's called a pew. So that's that's what this is, a pew. Okay, so you find them in churches. I don't can't really think about any other time when you would come across one, really. Except sometimes people say, pull up a pew, and that means pull up a chair, pull up something to sit on. Okay, all right, here we go. Oh, this one's a funny one. T -i -s -tis -siu. Tissue. 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 Now, we really tend to say tish you, don't we? So he's going to have a tissue, but actually it's supposed to be tis you. Okay, so your tongue is supposed to stay right in the centre behind your teeth when you say this one. Tis you. Okay, it's funny, isn't it? I know. I say tissue as well, but there we are. That's how you spell the word tis you. It sounds very, very posh, doesn't it, when you say tis you. Please could you pass a tis you. Thank you so much. S tis you. Um, here we have soon, soon. Oh, that's a double, another double O. My goodness me, I should have put these in a different order. Oh, look, this one's few in red. So I'm going to put that over the top of the yellow one so that you can read it better. Here we go. B, A, S, Bas, Soon. Bassoon. Bassoon? What's a bassoon? Don't you know, Chocolate Chocolate Button? No. What's a bassoon? I've got no idea. Well, it's a type of instrument. It's a. It's got a very funny sound, sounding instrument. It's very cool. I really like them. They, they've got a um, their reed instrument and they're very long. I tell you what, um, while you're finishing the rest of these ones, I'll put on some bassoon music so you can listen to it. Does that sound good? Yeah, okay, great. Uh, can you put that one in the oo section? In the, sorry, in the double o section. They're all oo. Okay. Are you going to tell me when the bassoon starts playing? Yes, I'll tell you when the bassoon starts playing. Okay. Here we have k o o clue clue. That's a u e spelling clue. Oh, give us a clue. That's it. Clue. B, O, O, blue. There we go. Let's put that one down there. Blue. Oh, is this the bassoon? Yes, this is the bassoon. Do you want to? I'll turn it up a bit. What piece of music is it, Lucy? It's well. It's called the Mozart's Bassoon Concerto. So this is. A man called uh, Amadeus Mozart wrote this. Um, he's a, uh, a man a um, very, very long time ago. He wrote this for a whole orchestra and he wanted the most important instrument in the orchestra for this concerto to be the oboe, um, to be the bassoon, not the oboe. <laughs> to be the bassoon. So that's what you can hear now. Do you like the sound? Yes, a lot. Okay, great. Well, we'll keep listening to it while we finish off, okay? Yes, please. Right, so that's the bassoon, the word blue. Okay. Do. Oh, we know this one. Do. Oh, yes, I see. That's why you've got the O there by itself. Yes, that's right, because we've got... We do have one word where that O makes an OO sound, and it's the word DO. <sighs> yes! Oh my goodness me. So there's that one, and then... Y, OO. Oh, you! Of course! You! That's, that's one of our tricky words. It is. But as you can see in this word, you, 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 the OU is making an OO sound. So you can put that one there as the only only one for that one. 
Okay, so let's concentrate on these three today. We'll just remember that those two are there, but we'll concentrate on these ones. What does this one say? Boom! 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 That's it, fantastic. Okay, so that can go in that double O section there. Oh my goodness, there's absolutely tons. So, as you can see though, if it ends in OO, then we use either UE grapheme or we use EW grapheme or spelling, okay? So if the word ends in the sound OO or U sometimes, then we're gonna use the EW spelling or the UE spelling. But if it's in the middle of the word, it's double O. Okay, so there's a bit of a rule here. So with this one, it's just about using our visual memories and remembering which one, whether it's UE or whether it's EW. But with the double O, if it's in the middle of the word, then we think, aha, aha, boom. I think it is true that the clue is that if it's in the middle, then it is the grapheme oo, okay? And if you're not sure, remember the word boom, okay? And that will help you to remember, oh yes, if it's in the middle of the word, oo is spelled with a double O, okay? Have you had enough of this bassoon now? Uh, yes, thank you very much, but I did love it. Okay, good, well, I'm very glad to uh, have told you about a new instrument. Um, I'll see if I can find you a picture for, for later, shall I? Oh, yes, please, yes, that would be great. Okay, let's get on, because we've got to do our countdown next. Ooh, fantastic. Okay, great, let's do that. Ooh, I forgot to say that if you would like to, you could do this as well, and then go around your house and do a sound hunt, just like I suggested yesterday, but this time, see if you can find all of the things that have an ooh sound in them, either in the middle or at the end of a word, and see if you can have a go at sorting them into the right piles or into the right column if you're writing them down. That would be a really fun and really good thing to do. A really good thing to do. <laughs> Still doesn't quite work, but it's close enough. Okay, so see if you can do that. Or if you want to, you can do a sound hunt in your reading as well. So you might have a look in your reading book and see if you can spot an oo sound when you're reading and then write it down into the correct column so you have your own list. Okay, fantastic. Whoops, let's go. Right, here we go, we are going to have a game of countdown now. So get ready to do some reading. Now, all of the ones in these first three columns have got the oo sound in them or the u sound in them. And only some of them do in this last one. Okay, so some of these are just reminding us of our phase four tricky words, okay? So hopefully we should be able to spot them all. Okay, I'm just having a quick look to see if there's any that are going to fox you, but I don't think there will be. There's that one that tiss you, and the same here with iss you. Okay, just think of the posh way of, of, of saying it, and then you'll get the word. Um, and then there's that, I knew it. And then there's, there's a brand new top. N I knew it. New top. Knew it. Okay. Um, I grew up. I drew. This is um, the past tense for drawing. So if um, I know that some of us sometimes say I drawed, I drawed a picture. The proper way we're supposed to say I drawed a picture is we're supposed to say I drew a picture. Okay, and that's that word there, drew, with an e w at the end. Okay, fantastic. Okay, I think you're ready to go. I don't think you need any help really. So. Um, I'm going to put on the counter timer, I'm going to have a go, and then I'll put the counter timer on again and see if you can have a go by yourselves. And make sure you're giving each other a chance uh, as well, okay? So take it in turns if you need to, um, you can just rewind it back, um, yeah, and just let each other have a go. Okay, let's go. Soon, hoot, spoon, spoon. Bal balloon, balloon, bab, boon, baboon, 
proof, broom, bassoon, bassoon, clue, blue, issue, true, glue, sue, tissue, rescue, new, stew, few, new, dew, pew, grew, drew, do, when, what, oh no, you, were, have, one, some, end. Oh my goodness, I didn't manage it. Did you manage it at home? Oh my goodness. Let's have a little practice now and then we will start off again, okay? And this time I'll do, do it without me so that you can practice without me, okay? Have a practice. Okay, is that long enough to practice? Good, okay, if you need more time, then just use your pause to press pause. Okay, ready, steady, go. Oh my goodness, how did you get on? Did you get on well? Fantastic, nice work everyone. Okay, let's move on to our next job. Okay, get ready for our quick write and remember that if the oo sound comes in the middle of the word, then it's almost certainly gonna be spelled with the double O sound. But if it comes at the end of a word, it's either going to be U-E grapheme or E-W grapheme, okay? Don't forget we've got the bed here to make sure that we've got our B's and D's the right way around. B, E, D. So if we're looking for a B, that one, and if we're looking for a D, that one. Okay, so uh, I hope you've got all your stuff ready. The first one is the word few. Few. Do you remember this word was for, for numbers of things that you can count that you might want a few of? So not all of them, not, a, not just one, but a few, okay? Few. 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 Can you remember which oo sound it is? It's the one at the bottom. Chocolate at the bottom. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> few number two number two is the word sue sue this is a lady's name sue it's that one sue Okay, and number three is the word soon, 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 soon. So it's in the middle, look, there's the oo sound in the middle. Ready? Soon, 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 we will be going back to school, I hope. Soon. Number four is the word new. And this new is the type of new that if you've just bought it in the shop, okay? A new red jumper. New. New. N U New. And it is making sort of that y sound. New, isn't it? So it's <laughs> new. 
Okay, number five is the word clue. Clue. I'm giving you a clue about how to spell this one. Clue is the word. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate button. You're being very kind. Clue. Bum, ba, da. I don't know what you're talking about, Lucy. I'm definitely not giving any clues of to how to spell clue. Hmm. Right, number six. Oh, number six is also the word new. But this time, it's the word which means I knew it. I knew the answer to how to spell new. New. I knew it. So it's the one with the funny old spelling of the sound n. Mm. There's that kicking something at the beginning, maybe. Shh. Okay, okay. Number seven is the word blue. I'm blue. Uh, I beg your pardon, chocolate, chocolate button. I know, I think that was a song. I think that genuinely was a song. I could be wrong though. Blue is the, is it, it's a colour. It's a colour. There is the colour. Blue. I like how you're giving them a clue for that too, chocolate, chocolate button. I know, but it's good to remember. To use the bed just to help us to remember which one it is. Blue. It starts with a b sound. So how are we going to write b and not d by mistake? Blue. And where are we? Number eight is the word spoon. Spoon. I use a spoon to eat my ice cream. Spoon. Spoon. Sometimes I use a spoon to eat my peas because it's quite tricky to fork them. Spoon. 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 Oh, number nine, you might have at your birthday, it is a balloon. Balloon. I'll help you with this one. B. A. L is the first syllable. Bow, because it's got two syllables, hasn't it? Bal loon. Okay, so we've got bow, b, a, u, and then the second syllable is u, u, n, u, loon. Sorry, I beg your pardon. B, a, u, u, n, balloon. Let me do that one more time because I think I messed it up that second time. B, a, u, u, u. N balloon. Sorry about that if I confused you. Balloon. Number ten is the word stew. Stew. So again, it's at the end of a word, so it's not going to be that one. Which one is which one was it? When we used our what did we do? Maybe write it down and then see which one looks more likely. Does it look more likely to be that one or does it look more likely to be that one? Just like we were doing yesterday. It's exactly the same skill. Just swap them in until they look right. Stew. I'm going to cook a stew for dinner. Stew. Number 11 is the word... Oh, it isn't actually a sound. It doesn't have an oo sound in it. It's the word like. Like. Can you remember how to spell the word like? Like. And number 12 is another word without an oo sound. It's the word have. Have. Can you spell the word have? Both tricky words at the moment, how to spell them. So don't worry if you can't. 
you've got number 11 is like and number 12 is have. Number 13, we're back to our oo sounds again, is the word proof. Proof. I would demand some proof, please, said the judge to the police officer. Where's your proof? Proof. P -r -u -f. Proof. So the oo sound is in the middle. P -r -u -f. Proof. Proof. Number 14 is the word tissue. Tissue. Who's going to have a tissue because I need to blow my nose? Tissue. Tissue. T. I. S. S. U. Two syllables, tis you. So we've got t i s, and then second syllable starts with another s s u, tis you, tis you. And the final one, it's the final spelling. Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. It's the word rescue, rescue. Chocolate button to the rescue. Dun, dun, da, 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 Rescue. R, -e -s -k -u. Rescue. R -e -s -k -u. Rescue. Five sounds in that word and six letters. Rescue. Remember the oo sound is at the end of a word, end of this word, so it's definitely not going to be that one. But is it going to be that one or is it going to be that one? Have a look and see what looks right. Rescue. And that is it. My goodness me, you've concentrated so hard on that. That was tons and tons of spellings. My goodness. Okay, right. Let's uh, see how you got on. Don't worry if you if you found that really tricky. I would find that really tricky too. So do not worry at all. Okay, see you in a sec. Let's see. Bye. Our final job for today is to do a bit of reading and I've got a sentence behind me and the first thing I'd like us to do is to find all the sound oohs in it, all the oo sounds in it, is what I mean, I'm sorry. 
um, is all the ooh sounds I have in it, okay? So you're going to read it through and see if you can see all of the ooh sounds that are there and count them up. You might want to make a tally for yourself or you just count them on your fingers, up to you, okay? And then just keep in mind how many you think there are and then we'll go through it together and see if we were right, okay? So have a look and see if you can find all of the ooh sounds in there. So for example, it's I knew, that would be one. I knew, there's one. Okay, you carry on. Ooh, hmm. How many did you get? Have you finished? A bit more time? Oh, sorry, have a bit more time. Okay, how did you get on? If you haven't finished, don't worry, just press pause and then and then we'll tell you, okay? Then you can just press play and it'll be, it'll be catch up at the same time as everyone else. Okay, I... So we've got I knew, which is as an I understood, I knew my new, as in brand new, as in from the shops, just recently bought, I knew my new balloon, balloon was blue as soon as I had seen a few clues. Oh, should we underline the, the ooh sounds and see how many there are? Yes, that's a good idea. Okay. So it says, I knew, underline, I knew my new balloon was blue as soon as I had seen a few clues. Oh my goodness, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ooh sounds in one sentence. Pardon? I'm wrong, am I? No, look, I knew my new balloon was blue as soon as I had seen a few clues. That's it, there are six sons. <gasps> oh, whoops a daisy. You're right, you're absolutely right. Oh, thank you everyone. Honestly, I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. You're right, this one also has an ooh sound. There we go. Clue, so there are actually seven ooh sounds in this sentence. My goodness me, I wonder how many ooh sounds you can find in other sentences in your own reading. I also wonder if you can write a sentence that has got even more than seven ooh sounds in it. I'd be really interested to see if you could. That could be your challenge. See if you can write a sentence with loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of ooh sounds in them. Okay? See if you can use some of the words that we had uh, to earlier that we had a look at earlier today. Okay. I can't wait to read your sentences and I can't wait to see you tomorrow for some more phonics with me, Chocolate Chocolate Button. Okay, bye. Well done, everyone. That was amazing. Elbow bump, elbow bump. Congratulations. My goodness me. What a lot of hard work. Thank you so much. Mwah. <laughs> okay, then. Bye. Bye.